if you have to mess with this control controller in the supermarket, grocery store that you're working at, I feel your pain, man. I feel sorry for you. This controller is something else. You can't even see the screen. The keyboard doesn't work. I want to get some tin foil, put it on top of it. Maybe I can get a channel or two, some kind of reception. I want to tell the other technicians, hey, let's pull it off the wall, take it out back, take turns, and just completely go out for space on it. That's the dream right there. The controller's obsolete. The parts aren't around anymore. If you find one, it's like gold now. So I'm just making this video it's for the technicians that have to work on this controller, make their life a little bit easier. So with these hotkeys, it'll just help you navigate through the controller if you can even see it. All right, let's get to it. We're gonna be hitting task status, plus 20 suction group. First one, hotkey number one, gotta put in the code real quick. It's for the set points. So since we're gonna be going into the suction group, it's gonna be showing us the set point for our suction. As you can see right there, our suction set point is at 43 pounds. And if we are in a system, whatever system will show us what set point we want for the temperature. Hot key number two. For this one, it's mostly schedules. So you're gonna be able to check this one out on the HVC controller for the lighting. Hot key number three, that's the most common one for the RO points. Since we're in the suction group, it's gonna show us the RO point for every compressor. If you're going to a circuit, it'll show you the RO for the sport, for the liquid sonar that we're using, for the defrost heaters, if it's a freezer. So that's what you wanna check for your RO points. Hotkey number four, it's mostly DI points. So for this one, it will be for the compressor proofs. If it was for a circuit, it would be for the freezer box, the door switches. That's what a DI is, digital input, on or off. Hotkey number five is for the AI points, analog inputs. This is pretty much with everything in the store that has a value. Suction transducer, discharge for the cases, the temperature in the cases. It'll tell you what point it's programmed to. If there's an overriding it, there's any kind of offsets. Hot key number six, you're not really gonna be using it that much unless you're in the condenser DAS. Analog outputs, mostly for the drive, the speed. Number seven is AI alarms, analog inputs. So for a circuit, if the alarm set point is at 45, you'll be able to check it here. Here you can see the discharge set up was 375 pounds for an alarm. Last one, number eight, DI alarms. So if the door's open for too long, this is where you can set it up for how many minutes. If it's open, it will alarm. Or if the compressor proof, the compressor doesn't come on, this is where you'll be able to check for it on the program how long it takes for it to alarm and you can adjust it here. And that's it for control hotkeys. I hope this video helps you out in any way. If I can help one technician, then that's great, man. That's all I really wanted. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and more videos to come. Fuck Comptroll.